Hi fam, how are you all doing? Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. I'm intentional favor. Please don't make this your last time. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And to all my amazing returning subscribers, I love you guys so much. Thanks for always coming back to watch my videos. So fam, this video is informal and kind of a rant. I just want to talk to you guys, okay? Actually, the year is fast spent. I mean, we're already in the second month of the year. And I actually wanted this video, I wanted to film this video kind of in the first week of January of the new year, you know? I know I filmed um, a video telling you guys more about myself. And in that video, I promise to tell you guys what my channel will represent moving forward and it's long overdue at some point i felt it's not necessary but at the same time i had a rethink and i obviously think it's really really necessary because a lot has been going on you guys might not know but um i know what i've been facing and i felt like this video is very necessary so if i film this video anybody that will come for me i'll just refer you to this video <laughs> refer <laughs> yeah of course i'll refer you to this video you know so that you will understand me okay um like i said it's going to be a rant i pray it doesn't that the video will not be everywhere but i'll still make my point so i know that this year will make it exactly three years by next month i'll be three years you know into this youtuber of a thingy okay so i started my youtube channel on the first of march 2021 yeah 2021 yeah i'm correct yeah 2021 first of march that was when i released my first ever video okay now um, i'm going to make reference to that video and i'm going to you know let you guys see some clip if not all of them really um because i'll make reference to that that was my first ever youtube video and in that video i explained my channel to you guys now over the years i started this channel as an international student in case you are new or you don't know me i used to be an international student in the uk as a matter of fact that's the route um i used to come into the country <clears throat> and um, since then of course uh, god being so gracious i have transitioned uh, into skilled worker visa because i got a job immediately after my studies and that's how i've continued i'm so sorry i really have um cold so i don't know if it's affecting the sound of this video but please apologies okay so that was how i started my youtube channel there um i was sharing tips for international students when i started my youtube channel why you guys tell my youtube channel i said it in that first video maybe at this point i would like you guys to watch a part of that video where i explained what my channel is all about hello welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to be here with you um it's my first video here and um basically i'm here to introduce myself briefly and to give an overview of what i'll be doing on this channel my name is Meso Match Kuchim the Mafevo Nemeka, but different people know me with different names. Some call me Mesoma, others know me as Favor, and um, recently people know me as Soma. Whichever one it is on this channel, the name is Intentional Favor. I'm a Nigerian currently residing in the United Kingdom and doing my master's program in social work. So on this channel, um, basically what I'll be doing here with you is to share my life experiences with you on issues pertaining to faith, lifestyle, studying abroad. Um, occasionally I'll be doing some vlogging, but the main thing is being real and practical with you and sharing my experiences and learning um, from it. So on this channel, we will be learning from one another. You learn from me, I'll learn from you. You also learn from fellow subscribers. I'll be going, we'll be learning so many lessons, even as I studying abroad, like I said, I'll be bringing um, issues, some topic of discussion and in all those i'll be real and practical with you more like balancing reality with idea like the ideal way of doing things but bringing in the reality not leaving reality out of it entirely and i promise you it's going to be a good ride on this channel so far obviously i made it clear from the beginning that it's a journey an intentional journey okay and as i said then i was an international student 
But that notwithstanding, when I introduced my channel, I told you guys that I'll be sharing with you guys my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith. That's number one, because I'm first of all a child of God. I'm first of all a Christian. Then lifestyle. Okay, I also mentioned studying abroad, which was the major thing I was doing then, because that was the major phase of my life. I also talked about social work okay so these were the major things then that i said i'll be doing but at the same time i said it was a journey three years down the line um, i have transitioned from being an international student to being a skilled worker in the united kingdom god being so gracious didn't stop there with me on this journey he also helped me to transition from being a single lady to being a married woman and in his message, he also made me a mother last year. So it's a journey and the journey continues. So with it being a journey and with all these transitions that have happened in my life, you can tell that my life experiences, okay, will now be on issues pertaining to these other aspects of my life. Okay, I'm no longer an international student which explains why I no longer release content on that, okay? Um, you might not know, but to be honest, to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, when I started YouTube and when I started sharing content around studying abroad, to the best of my knowledge, like I said, I was more like the second YouTuber that I know that was doing that same thing, okay? I was the second person. And let's just say, yeah, not let's just say, the first person was a role model for me in that regard. Because I actually didn't know that she existed when I started my YouTube channel. Because my YouTube channel grew out of passion, okay, to share my experiences. Because so many people were asking me a lot of questions then. And sometimes my DM, my WhatsApp then, I couldn't reply to everybody. I felt this would be an opportunity for me to reach out to more people because I love helping people, of course. And that was why I started my channel. So along the line, I now discovered her channel. So it became like a role model to me. Now, if somebody is my low role model, you know what that means, right? And looking at this same person, you know, when at some point, when I stopped sharing more about international students and people were coming for me then you know, when I graduated, I checked her and I found out that she also at some point, stop sharing because she is no longer at that phase. I don't know what is difficult for people to understand that life is in stages. You move on. Okay, when you are no longer somewhere, you don't usually share, you know, especially depending on why you started out your channel. So most of the information I was sharing then, there were no theories. I usually share from my experience. I usually share from my experience and give you guys information. These videos are still there. They are my old videos and they are still there okay now i know that along the line okay like i said i transitioned married started working and all of that at some point i was still once in a while sharing some information on that but that's because my dm people keep asking me questions so sometimes i get my video ideas from the questions people are asking me however last year about after being after giving birth to my baby so towards the end of last year i made a decision that I will never, ever again film any video in relation to studying abroad or immigration, like solely immigration. You get what I mean? Like I said, when I started my YouTube channel, there are no many channels talking about studying abroad. There are no many channels talking about immigration, sort of. No many. Get, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying there are none, but they are not as much as they are now. Also, as I then, UK, they've not really opened their border with so many visas, all these visas. There are so many visas now, okay? We know that then, the major route people coming to the UK, the most popular one was studying abroad. Yeah, that's the truth. So along the line came health and care visa and all that stuff. And a lot now started happening in the UK, which I'm not even surprised that they are now saying we are cutting down net migration because it was maybe from that 2021, 22, that was when boom, everything started and so many channels grew. Okay. Now these are, these, these kind of videos are what people like. They have so many views because of course people like watching. People want to jack, jack, jack season was running. But you know, even when I started my YouTube channel, Remember, I kept saying that I was using it. People were correcting me or laughing at my the way I'm pronouncing it because it's originally a Yoruba word, and I'm an Igbo girl. 
So I know I was saying it because Jackpa was raining that 2021 season, Jackpa, 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 and all of that. So, so many videos are out there. And I, I won't lie to you at some point, of course, I know I filmed some videos about that. Home Secretary said this, Prime Minister this, this. I just made few. But one thing you guys can tell is that on this channel, I never talked about health and care visa. I never wanted to venture into that because one, I don't know much about it. I'm not on that visa. And secondly, the kind of job I do don't afford me time to research and of course come and film videos because i really don't want to just be filming videos for filming sake few times that i have fallen into that trap under the pressure to get views and i made some videos i know that sometimes i regret making those videos okay but you can go and check my channel there are no there is no video on health and care visa no even when it was raining these companies are doing i never did because i was not ready being Releasing students content then I know how my DM was always buzzing and I don't meet every Everybody like I don't answer everybody how much more this health and care I know even without me filming videos on that people were still asking me questions on that So I'm telling you guys I never did and this was the reason so my job is very very you know stressful and time-consuming So because of that I made that decision that you know what because I know that last year I still filmed the video talking to dependents, mainly dependents of international students and dependents of those that came on this health and care visa, especially those that paid for that. Before what is happening now started happening, go and watch that video. I talked about it. That many companies are losing their COS. I know what was happening. People are in my DM. I hear news. I know what is happening. And that was why I made that video advising dependents. If you come more and you know that this was the way you came, please, as a dependent, go and look for another job that will give you COS. So that if anything happens to this one, this other one, you pull will back out down, you people going back to the country. It's happening now, you know, before it started, it became so rampant. I already talked about it, which was why I released that video. But I know if you go and check the comment section, people misunderstood and we are preaching to me the importance of being independent, which I know. But <laughs> this was, this is more important, okay, than that. Because if you lose the visa, all those you're having flexibility to work anywhere will end. So you are at loss in it. So, Anyways, that's beside the point. I'm sorry if this video is everywhere, but I'm still driving at how I started my channel and for people to understand my channel and to know the outlook of my channel going forward. Okay. So all this has happened over the years, almost three years now. Okay. But I made that decision. No more student content, no more immigration, require immigration, this immigration, that. I, I don't even have much of them. There are so many people out there doing a very wonderful job. You guys know those I'm talking about. They do a good job at this, okay? So let them keep it up. I'm not here on YouTube primarily for that. Honestly, which is one of the reasons, like for instance, if I check my videos, if you check my videos now, I can tell that I'm not having as much views as before. As a person, I'm human. As a person, I'm human. It gets to me. And sometimes, to be honest, I've thought of, is this YouTube really worth it? <laughs> Let me quit. <laughs> people are no longer liking, or people are no longer doing this, people are no longer doing that. But then, I'll still remind myself, why did you become a YouTuber? And this is why I'm still here, to share my experiences. Then I tell myself, everybody must not benefit from it. I started a series about my marriage journey. Some people won't subscribe for my channel because of that. They feel like I'm deviating. It's still my life experiences okay and people were bashing me and all of that but i'm sharing my life experiences and this is actually the reason why i'm still a youtuber believe me if that's not the reason with this number of views dropping which sometimes can be very discouraging i would have left but i know that that series i know the lives has touched i know i know i know people have been blessed people are confirming it i know which is the you know bible says that there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents over just one and that's it that's it i'm like my father i'm happy if my video even if it has only 200 views and out of those 200 views there is somebody that it touched and they had a positive impact or influence on the person 
I'm fulfilled, I'm happy than having 200,000 views and then it's just for watching or viewing sake and had no impact. That's why I'm still a YouTuber. But to be honest with you guys, at some point I thought of quitting. But I reminded myself why I started YouTube. And now that's the same reason why I started YouTube, why I'm still here. That's what people are downplaying on. So I'm begging you in the name of God. You can't like everybody. You cannot you must not watch everybody. You must not watch my videos. If you are angered by me sharing my life journey, sharing my stories that I want the world to know, because believe me, people think I'm sharing everything about me on YouTube. That's a lie. I don't, I don't think you guys see everything. It might as, it might seem as if it's everywhere. It's not like I have a dash, a, 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 I say dash camera. It's not like I have a CCTV camera installed and I'm showing you guys everything about me. Am I doing that? No. And some things I share with you guys, are, you guys should know this now about YouTube. They are not usually real time. When I feel comfortable, I, 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 I've been married for two years. For two years, I never talked about my marriage. Here am I now, just sharing my stories with you guys because I know it will benefit people. Okay, so I'm not sharing, but if you if you're angered by that, then it's not worth watching me. Maybe it's not even worth subscribing. You can unsubscribe if it's getting you that anger. Angry, I'll be angry. <laughs> if it's getting you that angry, then go. Just leave. Quietly leave. It will not take anything away from you and it will not take anything away from me. Life goes on. You cannot like everybody. You can't please everybody. Everybody will not be like you. Everybody cannot be like you. Because people just go in the comment sections and in my DM, they are just saying so many things. I mean, let me just make this video, which is why I felt it's necessary because if anybody talks anything later, I'll make reference to this video. And you know another thing, at some point I have to go and check the, you know, when you go on my YouTube channel, the about, what the video is, like the channel is all about. I've not edited that since 2021. I'll put it on the screen in case it will take you a lot to go and read. I still wrote it there, what my channel is all about, which is what I'm still doing. If you know my husband, my husband before now is not someone, he lives a private life. But when he came into my life and we were considering this marriage, he understood the vision of my YouTube channel, which is why my husband has supported me. I've said it, my husband doesn't post on Facebook, my husband doesn't put pictures, my husband doesn't do WhatsApp, he's, he's only scriptures and sharing links, he doesn't post pictures, self. But my husband understands why, which is why sometimes like, People are saying all of this. He encourage me because he understands the vision. He understands why I'm a YouTuber. And he bought the idea and he is supporting me. So if you don't understand the vision, which is what I'm trying to explain to you now, it's best you stop watching me. Instead of you dropping hate comments, you know, doing some things, coming to my DM and all of that, it's not necessary. I'm asking you nicely, just unsubscribe, okay? YouTube will not charge you for that. It, they will not. Okay, so that, that's just how life is, and I hope people will understand this. So moving on, hmm? my channel, yeah, proudly, I share my life experiences. Call it living my love, life on YouTube. I will gladly accept I'm living my life on YouTube, but let it be known to you that I tell you what I want you to know and when I want you to know it. If I don't want you to know about it, I won't bring it here. If I'm not ready to share, I will not bring it here. Okay, so I'm sharing my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith, my Christian faith, my life in the UK, living in the UK, that's why I share tips, shopping tips, I'm going shopping, I share tips on motherhood, to the best of my way, I'm just showing you guys how I do it, because these videos have helped me as a person, I have benefited by watching people, how they do things, how they live their life, I draw inspiration from that, and then the good ones, I put them, I, I you know, incorporate them in my own life, I've benefited from that, and you too tell yourself the truth you watch people you you hear people share their story no matter how sad it is because another thing people came for me when i was sharing my life journey how my husband was not my spec people were well, i wonder how your why your husband did this well, why did you cry he's a handsome guy this is this one this is this one come on i'm just sharing my story i'm not talking down on my husband i'm a woman under authority let me tell you guys you guys will still see that video much later in the year or even next year whenever my husband is ready i have some videos i filmed last year this year more like recording what happened and experience me and my husband had some even people my mother-in-law was in this house when it happened they were all here people were here my brother my 
they don't know they don't know and then i wanted to even release it then you know my husband was like no 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 he said no i've uploaded I've, I've, I've edited i've uploaded them they are just on my channel private whenever husband man is ready i'll make it public i'm a woman under authority i know you guys might think that i appear you know i said it in one of my videos that i'm stubborn and people might think that i i am um, as in that maybe you think i don't submit to my husband or well let me tell you guys the truth i don't do anything without my husband's consent never you think all those videos he was not aware of them he understands i'm, I'm happy that he replied to somebody that said i wonder how your husband feels about this video for me i said keep wondering if he was wrong he was even kind enough to come and say oh dear don't worry it's nothing it's what you propose this is under okay if there's it like I, I cannot do things without my if my husband say don't do this i will not do it you think i'll forfeit my marriage or i'll treat my marriage for youtube views hey <laughs> see what happened now for what it's not worth it any video you see me put out here know that my husband is 100 percent aware of it okay and he knows and he approves of it if there's any video he doesn't know about, it might just be a general random video. But if it's about sharing a story or something very peculiar, my husband, I, 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 have, to, I have to get approval of, like his approval. I need to get his consent before releasing it out there. So don't think I'm living my life on YouTube. I just want people to learn from me. Because me, I have people I watch. <laughs> when I became pregnant, I had couples I was following that were pregnant with me at the same time. And they were sharing their stories. And I benefited from it. If you don't like it, then go. There are people that will benefit from it. People have been blessed by watching me, you know, keying into my testimonies and all of that. There are some things I share in real time. There are some I don't even share them in real time. I just leave them. For instance, one real time I shared with you guys was when I told you guys that we are on a journey. Let's go on this journey together about getting a house. Now you might criticize me that ah, you want to buy a house. You are telling the world, no, who don't want to buy a house? Is it, how, how is it a secret? It's not a secret, but let me tell you, the day I, I filmed that video was the day I released it. And I'll tell you why. Like I said, I want to be an inspiration to people. You know, I I was saying it at around that time. I was just watching so many people filming videos about buying house, buying house. It was a wake up call. Oh. I already like that last time. Me and my husband was already thinking of it. We need to start saving for our house. But it was not serious. But by the time I now started seeing it, I was like, this is a sign. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm keen into this. And I felt like sharing it to awaken other people too. Because, for instance, I was, uh, you know, I shared her video, you know, and I made a post like for you guys, Pathway UK, when she was talking about how they saved, and she mentioned this Lifetime ISA. It will surprise you to know that I never knew about Lifetime ISA. I heard it first by watching her video. Because it's also the important things about learning from people. If, if people don't share how they buy house, how you go know? If people don't share their experiences, how will you learn all these lessons? It was from her I heard about Lifetime Isa. Then along the line, months later, I was discussing with a friend. And she told me that ah, she has opened it since she came into this country. And no what? I came into this country before her. Way before she came into this country. But she knew about Lisa before me. How did she know about it? She watched another YouTuber. She said, I saw it on the video of this YouTuber. And that, when that YouTuber was sharing her stories about buying house, I knew about it. But then I felt like, when I'm ready, I will come and watch. And because of that, I didn't watch. And somebody picked this out of it and made a very good decision towards her future. So if I had watched that video then, believe me, and I understood the importance. And of course, I have, I know that, <clears throat> excuse me, I need, I want to buy a house in the UK. I would have said it the account open the lisa account and all of that but i never did because i didn't watch that video so i felt like there are people who might be like me who might just be still thinking i will i will if you are a student and you are sure that you will stay in this country like you are not you you will get a job if a job is guaranteed for you or if you just came on a skilled worker visa it's just best do it immediately have it since you know you are living in this country you don't want to be a tenant forever do you so i felt like sharing it to awaken people so that in case maybe people that saw me eventually but go will do it when i finally get a house you will have people you talk it, they talked about it too, and the people be encouraged oh, to be an inspiration to people. That doesn't mean go and check many people that share those videos. They say they say for two years, so it's not like it's a secret. It's not like people thought that maybe when I shared, <coughs> sorry, people thought that when I shared that, that already, oh, I already have a house that I'm doing. There's nothing, sissy, no.
honestly you see so it just depends i said let's go on it together because that's what my channel will present come come let's go on this journey together and this is also a sign for you if you're watching this video and you still know go and open a lysac i mean actually if you're a skilled worker at least your stay is guaranteed to a great extent students might still be buyers mm, i don't know when i'll start working da 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 but if you're a skilled worker and you have hope and you are sure that you can open a lysa account anyways this is not to talk about lysa okay so that that's just the thing and i hope you guys understand so on this channel expect contents on lifestyle generally my life okay as a wife as a mother as a social worker whatever i am as a christian how did i forget that as a child of god expect contents on that christian faith family marriage relationships motherhood lifestyle living in the uk life in uk how we do it here yeah draw inspiration from me but if you don't like content like this people are unsubscribing ah come on youtube i know now i have my my studio i check it every time people are leaving you can quietly and honorably leave i know that go people will still come and i'll keep growing like I said, just one soul, if it's just one person that my video blesses, I'm okay. I'm happy. Okay. So guys, that's like I said, I came here to rant. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I pray that this year and beyond will be much, much, much better for us in Jesus name. Amen. Stay by me. Okay. Thank you. Those that started this journey with me, those that have continued, those that came in between, those, especially those that are still here. You guys are the MVPs. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much for the depth of my heart. Please don't forget to like this video still. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Okay. Um, leave comments. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, remain intentional, and take good care of yourselves. Bye!